Hello, my name is Shomitra Datta. I'm a professor at Cornell University and also the founder and a co-editor of the Global Innovation Index. Now, this year's Global Innovation Index is being released in a very unique time in the midst of a global crisis. And many are wondering what will happen to innovation going forward? Who will finance innovation? Will innovation increase or decrease? Now, I'm in the school of thought that believes innovation will stay safe and in fact will increase. Why do I believe so? If you think back to the last crisis, which was only about a decade ago, innovation in fact did not slow down. Innovation, the rate of investment innovation globally increased at a faster pace than GDP growth rates of the last 10 years. In fact, in many countries after the last global crisis, innovation did not slow down at all. And this is partly because the private sector pitched in and actually exploited all the different possibilities the technology offered. The second reason why I believe innovation will pick up is because that's what we have seen in the last few months. If you think about the crisis, it has spawned a whole set of changes in the way we live and work that none of us thought was feasible just a few months ago. We are now working remotely and connecting with each other and collaborating in ways which are very, very innovative. And this is just the start of this innovation in the way we live and work. What I think is gonna happen in the next few years is that we will see tremendous innovation in the way education is delivered and the way teams collaborate and the way office work is organized and the way office space is conceptualized. And this will lead to innovation in multiple spaces, multiple spheres. So I do believe that the next few years are going to be very rich in innovation. And I do hope that the Global Innovation Index will continue to track this and be a useful tool and a benchmark for all. Thank you very much.